I'm Rosalind Fox Solomon. I live in New York City and I recently <clears throat> have a book and a show called Liberty Theater. My process is not something that I would describe as neat and clean. I always think of myself as being quite awkward when I'm working. In the very beginning, I photographed broken dolls at the market in Scottsboro, Alabama. I photographed dolls because the dolls represented states of being to me. You know, with all the conversation going on about the Confederate Confederacy and Confederate uh, statues and and the, the terrible racism that has been stirred up recently in the in the U.S. especially, and um, so I had pictures from various places in the South, and I wanted to. Um, I am aware when I take pictures, not just of what I'm seeing. I bring to my pictures everything that I've ever known or experienced. And I had ideas when I have ideas when I look at people and I take a picture of them. I have a <clears throat> I have a sense of who they might be. And um, so I had those these pictures um, express what I saw and felt. I, I didn't know most of the people. Some people I knew. But a lot of them in the pictures, I did not know. They were strangers to me. Maybe I had met them. Somebody sent me to meet a particular person. And I talked to him for about five minutes. And then I, Because I don't necessarily spend a lot of time talking to people. I usually have to find somebody who knows, who thinks they know what I'm looking for. And um, well, the first subjects um, in this book were in Scottsboro, Alabama, which is where the there were nine black teenagers who were accused of rape, and they were falsely accused of rape. You know the story. Yeah. And um, there was a pre-Civil War market around the courthouse square where the, this actually took place, where the trial took place. <clears throat> and there's no marker there. There's nothing indicating anything about the Scottsboro boys, as they were called. Um, <clears throat> but I knew what had gone on there, and I had that in the back of my mind as I was photographing. But there was also this kind of, there, were ban there was banjo playing, guitar players, evangelists singing, and it had a kind of festival um, spirit when you, as you walk around and see, and everybody, you know, women in Pope bonnets and heart shirts and, you know, and it was kind of fun until I saw the Nazi memorabilia hanging out on the side of pickup trucks and um, the KKK belt buckle. I mean, I was just beginning then, really, and I just would approach people and say, can I take your picture? And they let me. And so, and um, even then I wasn't, I was already um, about 42, I guess. I wasn't a, a young kid, mm. and um, I think I looked kind of... I think I look a little bit eccentric uh, because I wear a, a photo vest and I wear a sun hat and um, I just think I look kind of benign, you know, but I'm very subversive. I've never said that before. I don't know if I should say that. So that's how I found them just sitting there and then I also photographed people as they were walking around, I would just say. Can you just wait a second? Let me take a picture. And I would snap. And, somehow, and I got this wonderful picture of the boy with Coke and cotton candy. 
he was walking around. I've never gotten anything else quite the same as that, you know, from that kind of point of st uh, stance. Okay. The foxes. Well, of, it's of some significance that my maiden name is Fox. So when I saw these foxes uh, at, on Fat Tuesday in New Orleans during Mardi Gras, I, of course I wanted to photograph them, and, and I photographed them. And those masks represented something about my family to me, something about a cover-up of and pretense and covering up what was really going on behind the mask. But <laughs> masks mean a lot to me. Um, masks have a connotation of covering up of a human being with a ma with a mask is somebody you don't know exactly what's behind the mask. And I feel that a lot of people function, um, even though they don't have visible masks, they actually function as if they had masks on because you, do not, you cannot reach uh, what is inside of them. I'm not telling people how to think. I'm just so showing them what I've seen and I, th I have put myself into them and I've put my thoughts and feelings into these pictures.